So, this next section is on sums and differences of rational expressions. Basically, adding and subtracting fractions that do not have common denominators. So, here's a couple examples here. First of all, you'll notice we have a half plus a sixth minus a third. If I want to combine those fractions, I need a common denominator. Do you know what the LCD is? It's a number that 2, 6, and 3 can go into. Well, how about 18? 6 goes into 18, 3 goes into 18, 2 goes into 18. Hope you thought that's not a good choice. How about 6? Why would I choose 6 over 18? 6 is the lowest common denominator, and I want the smallest denominator that works for all three. So, to make this one a 6, I need to multiply the top and the bottom by 3. So, I get 3 over 6. To make this one 6, nothing to do at all. To make this one 6, multiply the top and the bottom by 2. So, now I have 2 over 6. Now, I can solve this rational expression, or simplify it. 3 plus 1 minus 2. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2, so I get 2 over 6. Again, when you get your answer, if it can be reduced, reduce it. One third. Final answer. All right, here again. Here's another fraction. I need to add them together. Ooh, this one's not a fraction. Let's make it a fraction by putting a 1 under it. Now I need a common denominator. I could use 10 times 14, 140, or I could think about the numbers a little bit, and I know that 10 is 2 times 5, and 14 is 2 times 7, so maybe <clears throat> if I multiply some of those factors together, I can get a, a fraction that would work for this. What do you think would work for a common denominator? How about 5 times 7 times 2? So 70. So 70 is smaller than 140, so let's see what happens here. 70. 70. All right, what did I need to get 70 here? Multiply by 70, so I have 140. What, I, what did I need to get 70 here? 7, so I get minus 21. What did I need to get 70 here? How about a 5, so I get 25. So, 140, Take away 21 plus 25. I like to do the adding first, so I do 140 plus 25 is 165. Take away 21 is what? So we got something over 70, right? 164? No, 144. Excuse me there. 144. You better check my arithmetic. Now, both of these, you notice, are divisible by 2, so we're going to reduce the fraction to 35 on the bottom and 72 on the top. And we can leave the answer as an improper fraction. All right, let's try a couple more. How about these two? Common denominator, I need a combination of everything there. So I'm going to need a 2. And then in terms of exponents, you have to use the highest exponent. I have an a squared and an a third, so I'm going to use a to the third. I have a b to the third and a b, so I'm going to use b to the third. And then I think, what do I need to multiply this one by to get that? And I need a 2 and an a. So part of the top is 2a minus... What do I need to multiply this one by to get this? Well, I have the 2, I have the a to the 3rd, I have a b, so I need a b squared. So I need to multiply this by b squared and this by b squared. So um, what do I get on the top? 1b squared. And you can leave the fraction like this. Again, put a parenthesis around the top because it has a plus and minus sign. You know my rule. If you could factor a common factor out of the top, you could reduce it with the bottom. In this case, it doesn't happen. All right, let's look at this one. Fraction 3xy, 3y, 3x. So, what do you think the LCD will be in this case? Well, i got to have a 3. They all have a 3. And a x and a y. So, what does this one need to have 3xy? Nothing. Or you can multiply it by 1 if you wish. 
What does this one need to have a 3xy? Multiply by x. What does this one need to have a 3xy? Multiply by y. Now, the answer to this one becomes 2 minus x minus y all over 3xy. Now again, parentheses around the top. Cannot reduce any of those parts with down here unless you can factor a common factor out. It doesn't factor. Okay, let's try another one. This one's kind of a little trick question here. I'm sure you've seen stuff like this before. These are almost the same. B minus A, A minus B. Remember the minus one trick? I can get this one to be A minus B by using a minus one twice. Why? Because minus one times minus one equals one, and I can multiply any fraction by one and not change its value. So, I'm going to choose this fraction. I'm going to multiply the top by a minus one and the bottom by a minus one. So, I didn't change the value of the fraction. I made it look different. Now, do you notice minus b plus a could be written like that? So, I'm going to rewrite it. a minus b. It's the same thing. Now, they look nicer. Now, can I add these two fractions? Only if the bottoms are the same. Yep, denominators are the same. So, the new fraction has a minus b on the bottom. What is the top? Minus a plus b. Okay. Want to use that minus 1 trick again? I have to use two minus 1s. So, we'll do minus 1 times, and then we'll do minus 1 times that, and make it a minus b, so I use two minus 1s. And then this is a minus b. Hmm, can I reduce that? Almost. What do I need first? Parentheses. Now, parentheses the same? Cross that out. What's the final answer? negative 1. And remember, when you do fractions, you need to simplify them, so you need to know that little minus 1 trick. It's pretty useful. All right, let's do another example. Got a lot of examples here, but all the problems are a little tad different. All right, to find the common denominator for these, first of all, let's put parentheses. They're not the same. Similar. Let's factor this one. X times x minus 1. Let's factor this one. Hope you notice it's a difference of two squares. It's minus 1 x plus 1. What do you think the LCD will be in this one? It's going to be a combination of everything, so I need to multiply this by something and this by something. This one doesn't have an x, so I'm going to multiply it by x over x. This one needs an x plus 1 over x plus 1. So the LCD is x, x minus 1, and x plus 1. It's a combination of all the factors of the top and the bottom. Um, trying not to use too many multiples because I want it to be the smallest common denominator. So final answer on this one, you notice I did the top at the same time I was doing the bottom here. So I have 5x plus 5 plus x. 5 x plus 5 plus x all over x, x minus 1, x plus 1. Let's simplify that a little bit, add like terms. 6x plus 5, let's put it in a parenthesis, and then x, x minus 1, x plus 1. And there you go. There's the answer for that one in factored form.